Hi, my name's Ruth Hogan, and I'm absolutely thrilled that my debut novel will be travelling halfway across the world to Australia and New Zealand to be published by the wonderful people at Hachette. And I really hope that you all enjoy reading The Keeper of Lost Things. The Keeper of Lost Things is a love story. It's also a ghost story. It's also a story about how lost people and lost things can sometimes, against all the odds, find their way back home. One of the reasons why I wanted to write this story um, is, and I'm going to blame my mum and dad for this, because right from when I was a little girl they used to drag me around antique fairs and junk shops. Not that I minded, because to me they were always magical places where I might find treasure. And then as I got older, I carried on collecting and I became fascinated by the relationship that we have with the things around us and the things that we collect in particular. Because we invest a huge amount of emotion into these things and they then become worth to us much, much more than their intrinsic value. The first line of Keeper came to me on a train journey and I had the first line but I needed something to hook onto it. And there were two articles that I found. One was about what happens to human cremation remains when they get left at the undertakers. And the other one was about what strange, weird and wonderful objects get left in lost property departments. And the two of those together, along with a story of a former neighbour of mine who was um, a, a hoarder on a massive scale, whose fiancé had died when he was young, they were the elements that set me writing Keeper. The Keeper of Lost Things has been a joy for me to write because I've spent my entire life collecting things and so to write a story about someone else who spends his life gathering in things that other people have lost has been a, a fantastic opportunity for me to indulge myself as much as anything else and I really hope as readers that you enjoy the book as much as I enjoyed writing it.